Hello everybody and today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to put, uh, make sure that your iTunes library saves to an external hard drive. Now this is a very simple tutorial, there's only one major downfall and that is that it deletes all of your music. But as long as it's on your iPod you'll be fine and I'll tell you about that later. So first to make sure it downloads to the uh, well basically first what you want to do is you want to go to uh, finder and this is on a Mac obviously um, you want to go to finder you want to go to music iTunes click it right uh, iTunes media and then you want to go to music now obviously I've already exported it to the external hard drive but this is where you have to delete all your icons. Now if something goes wrong, uh, I will not be able to blame you at your own risk with this uh, this tutorial because it will not, it should not go wrong. It, it it hardly ever does. But as long as you've got your stuff on your iPod, you're fine. So make sure your iPod is not plugged in and make sure it has all the songs in your iTunes library on the iPod. Then you want to go to iTunes, you want to go to Preferences and then you want to go to advance and then this is where you can change the file location where all of your iTunes media is saved so that that's where I've saved mine into my Mac one hard drive which is my um, external hard drive and that's music and iTunes so that's all you really need to do um, there's no uh, there's no um, having to configure stuff or anything like that so now you may be saying well my stuff in iTunes has been deleted this is where you plug your iPod into whatever you have a dock or whatever and then what you do is you it says uh, do you want to transfer your files from your iPod to your computer you just tick yes if something did go wrong I will not be held responsible you are doing this tutorial at your own risk Thanks for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe.